Hello, so, I'm Sonia Furlong and this is my two minute uh, presentation on a personal development topic. So I'm going to talk about the ABC of stress. So the ABC of stress with um, A is for the activating event or the trigger and B is for the belief that lies hidden under C, which is the consequent emotion. So what happens is that people, something happens, right, there's a trigger. Say, for example, I said to you, um, or I said to someone, okay, you've got to go present to the executives in 30 minutes, okay? So that is the activating event. And so people would react in different ways. Someone, they might just go, they might just fall into an absolute mess and they'd be screaming and carrying on, that's impossible, that's unfair, how dare you, and just totally fall apart. Somebody else, on the other hand, might just go, oh, cool, yeah, I'm just going to be, um, you know, I get to be in front of the executives, this could be promotion time, I get my presentation together and off I go. Uh, someone else might be like, Oh, yeah, whatever, like, you know, wake me up in 29 minutes and I'll show up and I'll just say something. So it's not the activating event that is responsible for the consequent emotion. It's something else in between because one event can have many different reactions from many different people. So what it is, is in between A and C is a belief. And it's the belief that makes a person react in a certain way. So for example, if someone said, oh, when there's, you know, how dare they, and they get angry, somehow they have a belief. Maybe it's come from their parents, that's how their parents behaved when something was put on them all of a sudden. Or maybe um, they just have a lot of fear and doubt about themselves, and so they think, you know, um, how dare they, this person, you know, this, this, these executives are attacking me. You know, they might have some belief that people are out to get them. So that, therefore, creates a consequent emotion of anger, which will, um, or, or um, you know, being upset, which can be very unresourceful and doesn't help them in any way. Or for, they could, on the other hand, they could have a belief that, oh, this is great, the executives, you know, they must really like me, they're asking me to do this presentation, so if I do a really good job, then, you know, I could get a promotion. And so, it's just a different belief that therefore causes a different consequent emotion. And the beauty of understanding this is that beliefs can change, that beliefs aren't necessarily real, that often our life is based on beliefs around something and the beliefs have come from someone else, from parents or school or community and they're not even the, the truth. And so by understanding this we can start to separate the, the um, activating event and the consequent emotion and have a look what's inside, what our beliefs are and then we can work on changing our beliefs. So if this person feels that it's totally okay to be angry and upset and it comes to his attention that no, actually, everyone you know, doesn't actually appreciate him being angry and upset and it's a very unresourceful behaviour, then he could start to work on changing his beliefs and, and coming up with a, a, a different way of reacting to the same situation. So he may change his beliefs to like, well, okay, um, this is, puts me under a lot of stress, but I know that they don't mean anything personal by it, and if I use this next 30 minutes to put together a proposal, it's actually going to be fine. It's going to be good. And then that's going to give a consequent emotion of calm and um, order and being organised and therefore having a successful presentation. So that's just one example of the ABC of stress.